this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 camp tour video. Today I'm on Emily, who is my main character, who is level 388. Um, I play on this character most of the time. Uh, no news on the personal front other than the bank have arranged a new mortgage for me and it's waiting to be signed off by the underwriters. Um, and I've been waiting 10 days for that, so yeah. <laughs> Ty, Tiberius Shatner is doing really well. He had his op on Friday. He's had most of his teeth out. They kept him in overnight so they could give him IV painkillers. Um, he came home Saturday and he is bright as a button and very pleased to be home and doing really well. So that that's one thing I don't have to hopefully worry about anymore so that's good news anyway I think possibly because I've been focusing on homes and houses I do like building houses in 76 and I built myself a cottage in the woods and um, I'm down near um, Magnolia Pavilion um, I have built in the meadow here a few times. I built my medieval house here but I wanted to do something um, in the woods and um, yeah I think it's worked out quite well. I think in hindsight I might have built it so that the house was facing the other way um, this end because of the light because it's pretty much north facing but um, it, it works so and it's quite a flat area here so the garden and the fencing have worked um, I'd seen a roof similar to this on Pinterest that I wanted to replicate I have put a drain pipe in here because somebody pointed out that water would fill up in this gully so it's it's got good drainage just to reassure you listening is the key to life got to focus i have um put a clock up here just as a sort of decorative element on the house uh, and these corn husk wreaths i've put quite a few rooms in this house which was quite budget intensive because obviously it's double walled. As you can see I have completed a couple of um, Wendigo Colossus events although to be fair George gave me the plan for that because <laughs> I got the most hideous rug plan that I just I don't think I will ever ever use it is just so unbelievably hideous. Um, in fact I will show you. Um, If I can find it. Ah, there it is. It won't actually fit in here at the moment, it's too big, but as you can see, it is absolutely hideous. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't think I'll be using that in any of my camps and it's kind of I feel it's in bad taste because Elle was sort of a person, he was <laughs> somebody's father. <laughs> so you go back to that woman at foundation and say, Oh I killed your father and I made a I made a rug out of his skin. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna go down well, isn't it? So this is the sitting room area. I use the electric fire in here. I didn't build a fireplace in this house. Mainly because of budget. These are the new curtains that came for free in the Atom store recently. They are nice. I am all of the curtains so far have been red. Which I like red, but there is a lot of red <laughs> in this game in the furnishings. So it would it would be nice to have something a bit different. 
in here is the kitchen. Lights in the sky. It's communication. It's intent. Decorated the dresser with a few. I still have one present left from Christmas, which I use on my dresser. I've saved it for that purpose. Lantern on the Nuka Shine barrel. Doing some of these pieces, obviously they had to be done with a flamer trap. I mean, the main walls were now done with the, the door trick, but there are a lot of little odd angles in this house. One of my other cats at the moment is being a big pain. I have three. Ty is evil genius. He's um, he's also sort of the king of king cat in the area where I live. Um, but one of my other cats, David, is an absolute pain in the proverbial. He's a lovely cat, but he is the dumbest cat I've ever met. And he likes to chew cables, so I have to be very careful when he's about. I do shut him out, but... And he just scratches at the door. And he is in fact licking a cable right now. David, go away. I'm worried one of these days he will chew through the wrong thing and electrocute himself. This is the bedroom. Um, I did consider putting a hall up here and putting two bedrooms in. But because obviously the hall would have to be one wide, it would have made the bedrooms very pokey. And they wouldn't have had any windows in either. Bathroom, pretty much standard. I still wish they would give us some proper stairs rather than these metal ladders. You can build, you know, houses that look real, like real houses and homes, and then you have metal ladders rather than wooden stairs. <laughs> Um, there are stairs in the overseer's house. Uh, I wouldn't mind something like that. Or what I'd really like is a gate leg, or which is goes up half landing and then back, back double backs on itself because it would only take up one tile piece. Have a little porch here. Have a workshop. Water purifiers down by the side of the house. Raider Punk here is on his radio. Still having problems with the um, bulldozer not working, especially with these um, sort of cow parsley type plants. Just do a quick tour around the back of the house. I did consider putting a seating area out here. Um, I quite like the fire pit, but um, it wasn't getting rid of all of the, the brush, so you couldn't really see it. <laughs> so that didn't work well. Here's the back of the house. And this is the meadow. As I said, I kind of wish I had moved the house the other end so that you got the um, the outlook to the meadow. Um, but I wanted it sort of to be a hidden cottage in the woods, so from that perspective it works. Um, so overall I'm quite pleased with it. I had planned to do another build after this. Um, I want to do a ranch and I've picked out a spot but it is getting quite close to Halloween and I have for a while had a Halloween build planned so I am going to do that next I think so that's all from me today if you have any questions or comments please let me know thank you for watching <laughs>